me recognize the gentleman from New York, Mr. Swazi, to strike the last word. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. I seek unanimous consent to submit for the record a letter from a not-for-profit, the ARC, one of the largest organizations that works with and advocates for those with intellectual and development, developmental so disabilities. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I speak in support of the Economic Mobility Act, uh, which expands the Earned Income Tax Credit and the Child Care Tax Credit and the Child and Dependent Care Tax Credit. And I want to applaud you, Mr. Chairman, because I know this has been a big part of your career uh, to fight for the expansion of the Earned Income Tax Credit, uh, something that's largely enjoyed bipartisan support for many, many years. Uh, and we'd like to see that happen again today, uh, because the Earned Income Tax Credit rewards work. It rewards hardworking people that have low wages uh, and encourages them to work and receive this fantastic benefit. Uh, it's interesting listening to the debate here today uh, by the Republicans and the Democrats as though we're living in alternative universes as to the benefits or the lack of benefit uh, from the GOP tax bill from 2017. I think that one thing that we always have to remember and something I repeat often is that we've seen tremendous growth in the economy since the 1980s in the United States of America. Since 1983, the Dow Jones has gone up 12 times. It's gone up 1,200 percent. And the GDP since the 1980s has gone up six times, 600 percent. But middle class wages have gone up less than 20 percent. And whatever we do, everything we do, working together, Democrats and Republicans should be focused on how can we increase people's wages who go to work every single day? I don't care how conservative or how liberal you are. In America, we believe that if you're willing to work 40 hours a week or 50 hours a week and you're willing to work 48 or 50 weeks a year, you should be able to have a decent life. That's the American promise, the American dream. I work hard and in return, I make enough money so I can have a place to live, I can educate my children, I can have health insurance, and I can retire one day without being scared. But we're living in this alternative universe where we can't seem to agree on how to move forward on so many different things. But one thing that there's no debate about, that everybody agrees, every Democrat, every Republican, is how wrongheaded it was to include in the GOP tax bill the idea of taxing not-for-profits, the idea of taxing churches and synagogues and hospitals and not-for-profits and other people trying to do the public good, taxing them for giving out parking spaces or giving transportation benefits. It was just a wrong-headed maneuver. And I think the Republicans uh, recognize that, the Democrats recognize that, certainly. And I'm happy that this bill today is repealing that wrong-headed maneuver to tax not-for-profits. And I'm happy that it's included in this effort today. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. Thank the gentleman.